welcome to Catherine's Kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to decorate eggs. So we're going to use some um, actual boiled eggs. This is something I used to do with my godparents when I was your age. And we do it every Easter and it was a fun activity to do with the whole family. Now you're going to need some parent supervision or adult supervision, whoever's around. You're going to need some eggs, some food colouring, some vinegar, some water, some crayons, it doesn't matter which colour you choose, and a few different bowls so that we can colour a few different um, colours. Now, I am going to boil these eggs before we colour them so they're nice and sturdy. So I've just brought my saucepan to the boil and we'll pop them in. Okay, to boil some eggs, you're going to need some adult supervision and some help. But the easiest way we can do it is to take our eggs and put them in our saucepan. Be very careful not to crack them. We're just going to cover that saucepan or fill that saucepan until those eggs are covered with water. Maybe a little bit more. We're going to put that on the stove. We're going to bring it to the boil. So we'll put a lid on, turn the stove on. So you're going to need some help there from an adult. And I'll put the lid on and we're going to bring it to the boil. Now once your saucepan has come to the boil, see lots of bubbles there, we're going to turn it off and let it stand for 12 minutes. Okay Google, set a timer for 12 minutes. Sure, 12 minutes. Starting now. Thanks. No worries. So while you wait your 12 minutes for your eggs to sit in the hot water, you're going to make up some colours. So I think I'm going to go with a red. Maybe I'll make um, an orange and maybe a purple. We'll see. So we need half a cup of water for each colour that we're going to do. Now that can be boiling water or hot water. I'm just going to use hot water today, but the heat helps the colour to um, mix through and to set later on. So I'm going to put half a cup in. A teaspoon of vinegar in each half a cup of water. So in each bowl, we need a teaspoon of vinegar. I like my secondary colours instead of my primary colours, so let's make some orange and you're going to make equal drops of yellow and red to make orange. So we're doing a little bit of cooking and a little bit of art all at the same time. You can just give that a little stir. And if you use a white spoon or a um, a coloured spoon, you can see the colour. So we can add a little bit more if we need to. Oh, there's my timer. So that's 12 minutes. Okay, Google, stop. So let's have a look at our eggs. Oh, we've got one that's had a little crack. That's okay. We will just set that one aside. That's why it's always good to do a spare or two. So we're now going to take the eggs out. So I'm going to use a spoon and put it on a tea towel. And I can also put it into some cold water to cool it down. All right, so we're going to collect our eggs very carefully. 
try and get out a bit of water at and then let it roll onto a tea towel that way it won't roll off too far and it absorbs the water get the next one Now it's really handy to keep your egg carton because then you can sit them up in that later on. I'm just putting my eggs in some cold water to let them chill and they'll cool a little bit quicker. We can't color them till they're cold um, just because we don't want to burn ourselves. So now that my eggs are cooled, we're now going to pat them dry with our tea towel. Paper towel is too precious to use at the moment. Very gentle, don't want to crush them, pat them dry. Once they're fully dry, we can draw on them. So I'm going to take my egg now and do some little patterns on it. So I'm going to use a crayon. I've got a grey coloured crayon so you can see what you're doing. Um, make sure it's fully dry. If it's not, give it a little extra little pat with a tea towel very carefully like it's your baby and I'm going to do some zigzag patterns on my egg and there's my little pattern and I'm going to dunk it in the food coloring now all right so my egg is going into the orange coloring now you could hold it this way but you need to stand and hold it for at least five minutes for it to get the color. But I'm going to be a little bit lazy and I'm going to let it sit on its side for five minutes and then I'll roll it um, after another five. Let's have a look at how our green one's going. Oh, it's looking very colorful. I'm going to turn it and let it rest for another five minutes. So we're also going to do... Um, maybe a double colored one. So let's give that one a go. Okay, cool kids, there you have it. We have three different colored eggs with some little patterns and a green and an orange. And you can put them in your kitchen or your room for a while, but you will have to chuck them out after a few days because they won't smell good. So, I um, hope you're having a good time on your break. See you next week and we might do something else in Catherine's kitchen. Bye!